Welcome back to Wealth Wednesdays. My name is Janine Rogan, and today we're going to be talking all things ETFs. So ETFs were created in 1993 and were only allowed to track specific indices. At the point of 2008, the SEC allowed them to actually track various other companies and various other indices so long as they met certain reporting requirements. Now an ETF stands for an exchange traded fund. And all that means is it's a fund that holds a variety of different assets. So in most cases within an ETF, there will be a number of different shares of different companies. ETFs are then traded on the stock market and you can buy units in this fund. So instead of having to purchase individual stocks in 10 different companies, by buying 10 units of an ETF, you will get exposure to all of those different companies at a much lower price. Companies like Apple and Google often trade at hundreds of dollars per share, and an ETF is really only going to charge you a fraction of the cost and ultimately allow you to have fractional ownership in that company. ETFs can track things like indices like the S&P 500 or the TSX, but they can also be a lot broader than that and track things like companies that have a certain number of women in their C-suite or sustainable investments or in a specific industry. So you really have the power to choose what you want to invest in. One of the great things about ETFs is a lot of financial institutions will actually allow you to purchase ETFs without paying a fee. You'll only be required to pay that fee when you go ahead and sell that ETF. And it's usually a lot lower than it would be if you were buying and selling stocks. ETFs are passively managed. So the overall fees, including the management expense ratio or MER, are a lot lower than things like mutual funds. This will ultimately save you tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars over the course of your investing journey. Finding an investment that charges low fees and is easily accessible to a well-diversified portfolio will help you grow your wealth in a risk-free and profitable way. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions about ETFs, you can leave them in the comments section below, and I will see you next week.